Welcome once again to the JLo Artist YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me on this artistic adventure. Today we'll be working with ink, pen and ink. So have your kneaded eraser, a number two or an HB pencil, handy, and any type of ink that you would like to use. But make sure that it's archival, that it's permanent, that it's black, and a smooth ink. And let's start doing some ink drawing. So once we establish where we want to put it, and this is kind of a stick figure, then you can say, okay, how far is that head down? You know, how much of the space is that head taken? Is it about a third or a fourth of what my area is? And I can kind of start out there. There's the head, kind of this triangular shape. Little ears kind of come up there. That hair, just forget the, forget the hair. It's just a mass. It's just a shape. Neck, shoulder, back. And some of that back is going to get lost. The cool thing about ink is there's a lot that you don't draw. So when you're doing these, do them in sections, like... Um, you can you can kind of see where the center of him is there. You can kind of just do a little line there and say, well, that, that's one section. Here's a little section here. Here's his leg. There's a little joint there. It's just a little oval. The important thing is to get this proportion so it's about the right size. Then you can start comparing things. So here's a joint here. This is the, the I don't know what you call it. My son-in-law would know. And if you come straight over, there's the, the knee right there. Leg. One thing I like about this picture is how the back legs are starting to disappear in the dust and how that dust is just kind of obscuring things. I like that. We're going to use that. So if there's something you don't see, it's okay. We're going to we're going to use that to our advantage. That tail, I'm not really thrilled about where the tail is on the inside, so I'm just going to leave that out and maybe have a little bit more tail in the back, kind of dragging behind. That's a better composition. I'm just blocking in. I'm not trying to get details or anything, just blocking in like where the eyes go, where the nose is going to go. And it's, it's an approximate. I'm not, it's not exactly perfect. And that's okay. And since I have to erase everything anyway, I'm not going to worry about erasing things. Unless it's really in your way and really bugging you a little bit. So if that is, is the case, you can erase some things. What's our emphasis? Where is... Where does your eye rest? Where does it go? Yes. Okay, so so we're going to spend a little extra time on the head just to just to make sure that it's it's perfect. Everything else we can fudge through a lot of that, especially as we get down to the hooves. A lot of that we can just few little lines and you got it because they're being obscured back in there. So when we do, let's zoom into the head. Let's get that head just right. Now, a couple of things I just want to point out. First of all, there's a lot of really light areas right here by the, the nostril. We could just leave a lot of that out. And back over here where this edge is, rather than draw a line, we're just going to use some of our shading using lines and dots to define that edge. Same thing up here at the top by the ear. There's a lot that's lost there. Leave it out. So I'm just going to come over and I'm just going to start with the eye. Look at the darkest shapes that you can see. 
So there's little little triangles where the eyelashes are. I'm going to do those. And then I'll do those underneath part. There is a highlight on the eye, so I'll do that too. But I'm just going to kind of come in. There's some eyelashes. And here's the underside of the eye. Darken in that. And I'm going to leave a little bit of that light on the top. Later on, I probably will come back in and just do a little dot or something under there. There's a little edge under the eye, too, just a little bit. So it's just like little scribbles. There's really not... You can do little dots and dashes around the eye to just put in some, some darkness there. I'm going to go opposite on the other side, do kind of the same thing over here. Here's the eyelashes to the top. An eyelid, little dots and dashes. And that's about it. Here's the eyelid over here. Little dots and dashes. In any place that you see a shadow, I'll, I'll zoom into his head a little bit more so you can see it just a little bit better. But anytime there's a shadow, like... Even this little hair up in here, he's very dark, or more dark than, but just start with the darkest areas. You can always add more later. So here's his mane. It's coming down there, and there's a little hair that's kind of attached up there at the top. Little hair in the middle, little dots and dashes. Like I said, we can always come back in and add more later on. But we're just using now little dots and dashes to kind of define some of those areas. And I'm trying not to go in the same direction always. That that gets kind of boring. Bless you. Here's the inside of his nostril. I'm just going to define that. It's this little kind of S-curve, almost S-curve. And then just hatch through it. Here's his nose. Now on this edge, because it's so light, I'm just going to use a little dot and a little dash and just leave it. That's it. There's no, no more I need right there for now. Might later. Might look at it later and say, oh, I need more there. But for now, that's about it. Just any place you see a little dark edge, just put it in there. This little edge that comes up here is lost. I can hardly see it. And maybe I'll put a little dot right there above the nostril and just come up a little bit. I can see the part.
part of his jaw right there. I'll put that in. But the rest of it, we can just kind of leave it. So for now, that's probably okay for the head. We're just, we got the most of the head in there, a couple little dots and dashes to figure out where things are. You can always add more later. So I can see where the hair goes. I can kind of just define that. You could, you could just do some little scribble lines there. And then right above that, there's a little triangle right there. And then break it, leave it going up, and then pick it up again up at the top. The little dark edges. And that's it. You can use a, a little bit of um, line on the inside, show where the inside of the air goes. That's really about it. And again, we might need a little bit more later on. Other ears right up in there somewhere. Scribble, scribble, scribble. You got it. Whenever you're doing hair, just pick up the darkest areas and your line should kind of flow in the direction that the hair goes. So up in here, I can see the hair kind of flowing this way. I'm just going to pick up that line and go that direction. And then as it comes down, you kind of break a little edge there. Pick up some more darkness. You just have it flowing in the direction that the hair flows. Here's the side of his cheek that kind of comes down here, and it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to use these little hatched lines to define the side of the cheek. Rather than draw it in, it's just going to kind of come down there. Couple little dots and dashes. And then anything that's really dark. You can cross hatch, you can however you want to put it. I'm going to use the hair to define the side of his head. So I'm just going to kind of come in. And his hair is really dark, so however you want to do that, you can just scratch through it. What's important when you're doing hair is the edges. So over here, I could just, I could just, I can do whatever I want to, just scratch, 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 scratch. I can do little circles. But as I get out to the edge, I've got to have it flowing in the direction that the hair flows. Because down in here, nobody cares. That's just black. But the edges, that's what you see. And that's what you identify with as hair. So just make sure your edges are good and your hair, it'll be fine. These little feathered lines, this is where your pen barely touches the surface. And as you draw it along, it gets very soft. And, and it doesn't all have to go in the same direction. You want it some to go some way, some to go the other. Flip some up, something down. Try to get it going in the same direction that the that your scrap is, that your hair flows. And really, you can just scribble all the way through that.
you can even have some little spots just hanging out up there, not even attached to anything. If I put a little little flip up there, everybody understands that that's part of the hair, that it gets lighter as it comes this way, or, you, you know, it's harder to see. So you can have that just hanging out out there, not even attached. We will have to come back into that, do a little bit more later on. Right now, that's probably okay. And the more we add to it, the better it's going to look. We can even get some of these little veins and muscles that are in there by just little tiny hatches. Or little dots, little dashes. One thing I do want to do is get rid of my graphite as soon as I can. And that darkness of that hair, just scribble it in. Just make sure your edges are fine and it'll look like hair. Now once the head is done, the rest of it's going to fall into place. Because you can you can kind of still fudge a little bit on some of that other areas. But everybody kind of your eye goes to that head. That's important. Make sure that head's fine. For everything else you can kind of fudge a little bit. The closer your line is, the darker the value. So you may want to start with a thinner line that's a little separated and then go back into it and go, oh, okay, I'm going to make it a little darker. Maybe go a different direction so that it, it feels a little darker, that cross-hatching kind of thing. But it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can do little swirls if you want. I mean, lots of different ways to do this. And the rest of it is really done that same way. The back of him is really hard to see, so I'm just going to do a little dot there, a little line. As it comes around, maybe a little dash right there. As it comes back around the haunches, a little there. And the rest of it just gets left out. I know you can see that with the graphite, but once I get rid of the graphite, you can still see it. Your eye makes that connection, but just a little dot or a dash, that's all you need. When in doubt, leave it out. And from here, I'm going to get, try to go as fast as I can to get the rest of it in, just like I did here. Because I want to get rid of my graphite. So I'm going to do my edges with just little dots and dashes. Try to get as much information as I can, but not stuck to anything. And I haven't drawn a line around anything, really. Little edges that create those, or little dots that create the edges. But just leave it out. No big deal. Again, one of the 
big things I want to do is get rid of this graphite. So I've got to get enough information that I can get rid of that graphite. So I'm going to try to get it as fast as I can. Without drawing a line around things. Because if it's not quite right, I can adjust it from here. And I know that looks a little um, sketchy, a little spontaneous. But that's okay. That's kind of what it's all about anyway. like the shape of that leg in the background, I'm just going to scribble through whatever shape I feel like it is, and then I can adjust it. I can say, well, okay, that that little darker over there, I can add a little bit there. If I drew a line and it wasn't in the right place, I'd be stuck with that line. Here I'm not stuck with anything. If it's not in the right place, that's okay. I can adjust those edges and keep adjusting and adjusting until it is right. Oh, I think I'm ready to get rid of my graphite. That graphite just makes it muddy. So as I get rid of it, I, I love that clean, fresh line that you get. All that sketchy stuff that we did at the beginning is totally gone. No one ever knows that you used a pencil. And now, even though it's, it's very sketchy, I can go back into it and darken in certain areas. Cross hatching. I can use this to create little edges that are nice and soft and thin. And if I need a line, I can, I can put that line in right now. If I need to. And I'm just really just scribbling in the dark that I see. And if you like it, that fresh, scribbly look, you can you can keep that. Or if you want to just say, ah, you know what, I need it need a little darker in there, keep going with that too. But your edges, don't worry if they're kind of sketchy or lost, like the back of him over there. Totally lost. Or you can say, eh, you know what, I need a little bit in there. Maybe throw a little bit of dot or line in there, but but keep it soft, keep it fresh. But again, it's up to you. You you are you are the artist. Anything you want to have pop, you can either darken it or have, you know, darkness around it. Like, like his nose here, you want his nose to come forward. So at the risk of lightening up a little bit more than maybe I should, uh, I'm going to darken in some of that around his nose. That'll make his nose come forward. Light things have a tendency to come forward. Dark things have a tendency to go back.
if you like some of that uh, dust that's there below, um, go ahead and leave that kind of hanging out. And then you need a little bit of grass or something down in there. So you just do some little scribbly lines like this to just say, well, there's some, some dust or dirt or there's grass in there. I'm just scribbling those in. Here's some dirt, maybe maybe some dust flying out there. You can just do a little bit of that kind of flying around. Here's a little little plant up here. I don't know what that plant is. Some grass. But you need something down there so it's not floating, you know. You don't want a floating animal. But just enough. You don't you don't need a ton. Just enough. So I'm just scribbling in some some ground, whatever that is. It also make a good base for your signature. Because your signature is part of your composition as well. Well, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you had fun. Last thing you want to put in is your signature. And a great place for the signature is right above the ground, right, right about there. I suppose you could put it in over here too if you wanted to. But about right in there somewhere is a great place for your signature. Signature is kind of important. It's your logo. It's your identifier. It's the thing that makes you you, yeah, as far as art goes. Hopefully, this has made your life a little bit nicer because it was, it's kind of fun, no matter how it turns out, because... Art makes life better.